some people today don't even know why something exists because the original idea or the concept or the notion surrounding it is either being so far removed from our own present reality that we just think it's a convention and a given that it has to be that way. So for instance, when we say news, it's usually maximum in length about one minute to two minutes. When we look at um, the structure of news, it's usually one camera person. When we look at news, it usually has a reporter inside. And you, you, you might ask, well, why is that? And the answer that you could be given is this, because it is so. But actually, it isn't so. News born around 1948 it was a construct. It never existed. And before it never existed, what it did exist was documentary. Um, what did exist was cinema. What did exist was radio and newspapers. And they were trying to find this new medium. And they didn't know what to do with themselves. So it's a, a great story put together by a, a professor that looks at CBS and how that came about. And he talks about how these young people would meet and discuss and try and find ways of doing things. And very gradually they'd get some right and they'd get some wrong. And then one day an executive joins them at the morning meeting. And then they say to themselves, the experiments were over because now the money men had decided, ah, oh, we now have to make money with this. So you can go back to the idea of experiments then, and, and the idea that we don't know sometimes why things are so, uh, which me, leads me to um, relay the story of the monkey, elephant, and the ladder. The story goes like this. A couple of sociologists um, were experimenting with cause and effect. And so they placed five monkeys in a cage with a ladder that led up to some banana. And at the top of the cage as well was some water. And each time a monkey tried to go up to get a banana, the water would dump on the other four there. After a while, the monkeys figured it out. So if someone tried to go up the ladder, they would get that monkey, pounce on them and beat them. And then that monkey wouldn't go. And none of them would go because the consequences were if you got to the, the top and you, you, you got the banana, you'd be drenched with water, which was far worse than getting the banana. Um, a couple of days after them being um, more or less now um, sort of framed in, the, in a mindset, they changed one of the monkeys around and they introduced a new monkey. Well, of course, the new monkey, as soon as it came in and saw the banana up there, Without hesitation, it tried to go up the ladder to get it, and the four pounced on it and beat it up. Now, after a while, that particular monkey learnt that actually I can't go up that ladder anymore because anytime I do, I'm beaten up by these guys. Okay, the next day, they changed another monkey until all five of them were changed. Now, at that point, all of them very gradually learnt one important thing that each time someone tried to go up the ladder, they were beaten up, but none of them were ever, ever drenched. In fact, the whole precept for why they went up in the first place was now non-existent. And that's this really story about where we are at the moment. Why is it two minutes? Because it is so. But actually, there was a reason for it. It was two minutes or less because it was a new medium. And the executives were scared to death that if they didn't make it short enough, no one would watch it. So the only way they would watch it, and you can find this in one of the ITV, it's an ITN, ITN book by a guy called Wheeler, Francis Wheeler, says that the audience, the execs were so scared to death that they said, make these things short. And that's why they are like that today. And there are many other things that have become conventions that in some way would have worked back then, given that TV was a new medium, people would come home, blah, blah, blah that today won't necessarily work, but we've become so accustomed to them. We treat, we, we, we revere, revere them so much as the conventions that they are, that we cease to question them. If TV were to be set up today, created today in today's climate, it wouldn't be what it is 